Good evening, Galusian. Welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Hey, this is a day we're going to be shooting the PO8, the legend Umarex PO8 BB pistol, right here, better known as a Luger, a classic from World War II. And uh, we're going to be shooting it for the first time. We're going to see what it does. I've got a few cans. I've got some of Judy Norquist shaving cream cans. We always want to give Judy uh, some credit for that. Her husband, uh, Jim Norquist, better known as Dr. Norquist, who is an eye doctor, uh, he, uh, he always supplies me with those cans, or has, and we're going to be shooting at those. We're going to be shooting at one of Pepper's dog food cans, and we're going to start on some K-cups. See if this thing's got the accuracy to get them. I don't know. I may eventually, you will notice, here's the sights. They're just regular open sights, and uh, up here, I may end up painting it white like I do before. That's in order to help my eyes. <laughs> like I said, Jim's a doctor for eyes and I guess I need him because my eyes are getting a little weird anymore. Always have been. But anyway, we're going to be shooting this for the first time. We're going to go down there just to see how good this thing is. We already got loaded up. You should have watched the other video there where I showed you how to load it with the CO2 and the BBs. It's 21 rounds in there. I don't have that many targets set up, but we may end up using them anyway. So let's go down there and start doing some shooting. You can see the cans down there. We've got them all set up to the north with saving deals with right and left there. And we've got a cake up, Pepper's dog food can. And we'll just see how this is. I want to try to get around here so you can see the action of this. So I'm going to have a little bit difficult time sighting and keeping this too, but let's try it. Mm. He hit it, but let's see if it's cake up. I hit just ahead of that cake up. I'll get dog food. I hit it because it moved. There's not a whole lot of punch to this thing. I can see that. See what it'll do on that if I can get a cake up. And get one of Judy's cans again. Yeah, I got that. I don't know why I'm not getting a cake up. It must just be sighting or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting those cans. There's no doubt about that, so it's right on line. Yeah. Got it again. Maybe it's just shooting a little bit one way or the other. Not as accurate as the M1A1, there's no doubt about that. Boy, the wind's getting bad out here, isn't it? Yeah, I can hit those cans, so I mean, it's good for planking. And, uh, I don't know what the deal is with the K-cup. Huh. That's hitting just low, it seems like. I'm going to go after the can again. Yeah, so that's weird. Let's see if it's, maybe you got to go above it. Yeah. Anyway, we're out of ammo. So uh, you got to see how it shoots. So let's go back there. Well, you see how it shoots, and of course it locks open on the final round, but it's real cold in there, that CO2. So, uh, I got a feeling, man, I'll tell you, this wind's really kicking up out here. Uh, maybe it's this heat. Uh, we're 90 some degree heat right now, and I know heat, you know, temperature period, cold, hot, whatever can affect this. And it just feels to me like one, uh, as cold as this, I mean, this is cold. I imagine what the cylinder's like inside of it. That cartridge must really be cold. Uh, so, but it was shooting otherwise. You can see me hit the cans. And I know those are right on. Just hang on a minute. We're going to get those cans and just see how well we did, if I can tell, because we shot them before. So just hang with me. They pulled up the cans. I found one of them. I didn't bring it with me. found one of the K-cups had a hole in it. So maybe it hit it, and we just didn't even know it. But I see, because this is a side I was shooting in on a can, and I can see right down here a, uh, a, D, a BB dent. And I was aiming up here. So I'm not too sure on that. Uh, let's see on another one if I can find. Now this isn't. This is a hole from a, another, uh, well, it was the Primex, Umarex Primex, that it just 
it didn't even knock that can open over because look at that hole it just blew it right through and that's a different gun i'll tell you it well it's completely different we can't even compare it to this one um and it's a rifle let's see i had it turned around though can't re i know i hit it here's a hit way down here so maybe i hit it down there it's like the co2 was running out because it was going low like that and here i was i was hitting this on the back label because we know we were shooting at the back label and we were hitting it so where did it hit I and mean, there wasn't even enough punch there to uh break the label i can't find any spots on the label there's a couple down here way down on the rim of this and again that would be co2 running out and i can't believe unless i got a bad batch of co2 somehow that it's running out that fast it's kind of weird uh, you know I'm going to check that cartridge just to see. And we'll put it on safe. It's, it's very cold, but uh, not as cold as it was. Well, it's, it's got... No, it don't, because we shot it all out. I'm going to see if we got really any CO2 left in this thing break it open I got it tight no very very little did you hear that just and it was done so that cart oh no there it is now there was a lot more co2 in it but it was like it was blocked that's kind of odd and we don't have the co2 in it now that's really kind of strange uh, it looks, I don't know, almost looks like the puncture thing has got a damage to it. I don't really know. What do you say I put another CO2 cartridge in? I just wasted that one. Uh, there's one here. They've been out in the sun, so it's probably too warm. Should have put them somewhere else. But we're going to put another one in. And then I'm gonna load it up, and we'll uh, we'll try that again. All right, we got everything back in place. Gonna rack around in, get the safety off, and uh, I might as well hit a can first if I can. That hit harder. That definitely hit harder. You could hear it tell that. Now let's see if we can get a cake out. No, nope. get the dog food can. Okay, I can see now what you gotta do. Maybe not. Now I get Judy's key. That hit it. And I hit it again. Hit the dog through the can. That's giving me an exposure there. Definitely hit that. I know right in the area, so we should be able to find that one. That's why I don't understand on these. Huh. Yeah, you hit that can, and I'm aiming the same way on those, and I don't get it. Blame low, blame high. Yeah, every time I hit that can right where it's, I'm wanting it. I, I mean, this is weird. There, now I got it. I have to aim right at the top with the, actually the sight sticking above the cup. That's how it's shooting. It's shooting a little high, I guess. We got it again over there. That was in the top of it, so. Oh, we're out. I brought back all the stuff. You can see that's what this does, just like a regular one. When it blows up like that, it stops because you fire that last round, which is, is nice. It lets you know, okay, I'm out of ammo, gotta reload. Uh, I'm gonna put this in a cooler spot because it's cold, yet that sun's shining on it and it's hotter than the blazes down here where it's set. So I'm gonna set this over here. Put it on my boat fender. It's in the shade. 
Uh, the cup, we know we hit this cup. I uh, can't really see where it penetrated. So it didn't have a great penetration on it to not to penetrate this thing. Um, the only thing I can figure, and I think that was the second one, it hit down in here, but there's a kind of a dent on it, and that's, that's about it. You can see what that wind, and you can hear what that wind is like here. I'll put this down before it blows my BB container over. Uh, okay, let's see what we've got here. Well, we've got not my oil off. Actually, it's probably blown off. There we go. Uh, there are some marks on the paper this time, so we definitely, you can see there's holes in the paper. Uh, there's, but the can itself, I cannot see any penetration. A couple of dents where we may have hit it. We got one here. Now, I think that was that one that I said was a real hard dent. Okay, it did dent this, and this is hard, these are hard cans. These are not soft cans. Neither are these, because you can shoot them a lot. That's what was so amazing at the way that Primex penetrated that thing all the way through and didn't even knock it over or hit it so hard. Uh, so I turned it around to hit where I couldn't see, and I think I might have got it right there. I'm not sure. Uh, it just wasn't penetrating. That's all there was to it. And it hit. It definitely hit hard. That first shot that we fired with it, it hit very hard on it. And I know I was firing back here, and so, because I moved it around so that I'd have a fresh area, and I do have some dents back into these spots, so I presume that one that hit real hard was one of those. Um, I just don't know. But anyway, it did hit it, so that shows you right there. That can's a thin can. It's probably not much more. Man, if I could get the wind to just hold things down here a bit, I'd be doing a lot better. And wedge that there. I don't want stuff garbage thrown all over the place. Okay. See that cup and that can are not that much difference on width. So that means with that you should be hitting these. I it's I think it's an elevation thing. I'm down, but you cannot readjust these. So that's the thing you're gonna have to do with this gun is uh grab it over here. You're going to have to, uh, pretty much like uh, Kentucky windage, the only difference is this is going to be Kentucky elevation. Um, just going to have to figure it out. If I can figure this out so that I know perhaps if I bring the sight down more into this groove, rather than having it up level like it should be, or whichever I got to do, uh, maybe that's how I can paint this thing. I don't know. But uh, I really like it. I mean, otherwise, it's just very, very good gun. I think what the whole thing was is I was so spoiled by the other Legend models because the uh, Peacemaker was dead on. The lever action was definitely dead on. And that M1A1 was fantastic. It was on on full auto or on uh, semi-auto. Either way, it was on. But again, longer barrels. Uh, this has got a very short barrel. It's only like this, you know. Not even a four inch barrel, really, because the barrel starts, I think, yeah, barrel starts right about here. So maybe about four inches, but you're going back so far. Probably about three something on that. I'd have to measure it for sure. But uh, that means with a BB gun, now with a regular firearm, they're not even really accurate once you go past a certain way. But with a BB gun, even less so. Uh, and that's what this is. It's a BB gun, CO2 BB gun. And I think it's probably critical that it has its full CO2. So if it starts running low at all, you're probably going to definitely be losing accuracy. Perhaps with a different BB? I don't know. The second time, I was using the Umarex steel BBs. First time, as you know, I loaded the uh, the others, the um, uh, Black Diamond. So, I don't know. Uh, so far, I like it. I still like this gun. And it's just going to be a thing of where, if you get one, you're going to have to figure it out on shooting for accuracy. 
and it's not going to be a long distance pistol. So this is definitely not going to be something you're going to take out and shoot at 25 yards or even really 10 yards. I don't think it's going to do too well with that. Um, you're going to be looking at probably five to seven yards and seven yards is usually an average of what BB pistols will do and uh, your better BB pistols usually go in about seven yards and that's about what we were shooting this so yeah it's probably this old basic uh, BB pistol as far as accuracy and and what have you as it goes um, I guess I'm spoiled because I've been shooting a lot of regular firearms lately and that's a little different I've been even having troubles with one of those but that's another story altogether um, but this one yeah I like it it's uh, definitely worth a look and we're going to be shooting it more and we're going to try to shoot that rocket shot I told you about and that'll be interesting with this and see if we can hit that target when it's flying through the air and not just sitting still so until next time shoot safe and have a great day of blinking